Hey, what's up, guys? Um, now, last episode I was making some arrowheads and doing some fletch, but I'm going to be doing something completely different this episode, and um, it's not going to be going to do my giant bat task. I've actually found that there is another enemy which is is going to be incredibly useful because it drops nature runes commonly um, and a lot of things I really badly need at the moment um, it drops so um, I'm going to be getting all of those getting all my uh, mage equipment it's also weak to fire spells which is um, awesome it's ice warriors so yeah uh, I'm going to try and find a way to safe spot them because honestly I think that they're going to shred me if I fight them up close. Um, I'll be taking some stews and some chickens but that's pretty much it. I don't really still have a shield which is a fair issue. Like I need something in the offhand when I'm mage and even if it only gives a tiny bonus I'm trying to think what I could use. I could definitely use an anti dragon fire shield. Um, let's go see if I can start Dragon Slayer. Because uh, I believe that you get the shield right at the beginning. So I'm pretty sure that you start it by talking to the Duke. Uh, so let's find out. Hello. Greetings. Ooh, do you have any quests? No. Oh. Right, well, that's that plan gone then. I might go and grab a wooden shield, but the bonuses aren't aren't really good at all. Um, hmm, and a ring. Did I obtain the explorer's ring? Did I? No. Maybe not. Maybe that thing where I had to go and do a mining spot was in the beginner tasks. Maybe I've just gone crazy. Let's see. No, that's easy. So surely I should have the ring. Have I already equipped it? Am I going crazy? No. Oh. Where is it? Was I supposed to get it from that? I'm pretty sure that I should have. Let's see. Rewards. Explorer's Ring 2. Yeah. Maybe I needed to collect the rewards a second time. Let's go find out. Go down again. Uh, go over here to the explorer explorer house. See how much money am I packing at the moment? Um, Forty something k. That's not that's not very much, is it? Forty one two nine five. I'm pretty poor. I could do with some money, super bad. Um. You've, please just give me the ring. What the? Grr. What do you mean? This makes no sense. It makes no logical sense. Maybe I have to. Maybe these are part of the beginning, the beginning ones. Oh, a sapphire necklace and ten cosmic runes. Oh, rewards. Oh. Okay. Well, I would do some of them, but honestly, I can't really be can't really be bothered. Wait, what? No, there's a bank in Draenor, which is on the way, so I can just nip into there before I go down. Um. Also, if I can't kill ice warriors, um, like the safe spot won't work or something like that, then there are pirates just behind them, and the pirates drop common two nature runes. So they've got a common chance to drop a couple of nature runes, which is um, it's good enough, I suppose, uh, because I I really badly need some nature runes. Like as soon as I get 55 magic, um, I'm gonna really badly need um a few hundred nature runes, uh, and unless I've got the runecrafting level, which I don't, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to have found them from drops. So obviously I can start with just about 50, but you know, for for making money, they're going to be really, really essential. So how many of these do I have? If I just grab a thousand, grab a thousand of those, and as such, grab 500 of these. 
that hundred and then some I'll grab the shrimp um, and then some some of that and then the rest stews because I don't particularly want to waste all of my stews just yet like I I don't have any many and that I sorry I don't have very many um, and I keep saying erm um. I have noticed this it's really unfortunate right yeah I need I need some gold runes um, oh, what? that didn't even make any sense right I need some gold charms and ice warriors have got about a 40 percent chance to drop gold charms as well so they're weak to fire spells and a fire spell is what I'm going to be using they drop nature runes and cosmic runes commonly uh, and law runes which I'm also going to be needing a ton of they yeah so they're, they're pretty much everything that I need to train wrapped up into one and all of the items I need they're just they're pretty much perfect I think they've also got a few uh, drops which are alkable for a tidy profit um, I'm not exactly sure and the most important thing that they drop but it's a rare chance to drop it is they drop they're the only thing apart from the Armadale God Wars dungeon boss Kriya which is like level 700 they're the only other thing to drop a rune crossbow so if I can get a rune crossbow from these that will help me so much because if I can use a rune crossbow against the KBD instead of um, you know a Blorite crossbow which is what I'll have to use if I can't get one it's just gonna be ridiculously easier like in fact if I don't have a rune crossbow I probably won't be able to kill it I just won't be able to deal the damage necessary because you really need the added accuracy especially at a moderately low range level um, that bonus accuracy is so so important and um, so is so is my magic level for magic defense that's so important to have which is why I'm trying really hard to train magic um, and plus obviously the crap plus obviously I need to get to 55 uh, anyway so there's quite a few dangerous things walking through here um, all gonna attack me and deal loads of damage that really hurt please don't do it again thank you you I know you I know you just want to be loved mr. hobgoblin please please do not kill me right so now I've seen a fair few videos telling me that there are safe spots around here so let's give one a go shall we apparently if you walk just around the corner I'll know that one runs off let's see if I can attack them around anything you gonna no nope, you gonna run off as well if I can get in this corner maybe I can shoot over the rocks if I can that would be awesome it doesn't appear that I can Ow. god damn it one of you's gotta come over here one of you will no oh oh god oh my god oh my god oh my god I'm dead right he appears to have been trapped on the corner he's coming after me now oh <gasps> I've trapped him on the corner epic wind stick right I've accidentally found some camping spots genius I wasn't even well I was trying to but you know I was just trying to run away when I found it nice and it's hit for you for a solid 50 boom 50 it's guaranteed wow I don't even think I've missed yet that's how accurate fire spells are on these noobs die I want ah oh, it would be so awesome if I got a rune crossbow drop first time that would be literally the best thing to ever happen to me ever <gasps> oh what is that like four coins excellent yippee Right, I wonder if I can shoot through these spiky min no I can't. No, it's just let's just keep shooting at him and then running away. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I need to stop. I need to stop this. I need to stop taunting these ice warriors. And right, there he is, re back his spawn. 
come around. You will. You will get trapped on the corner. Thank you. I love you. I love you, Mr. Ice Warrior. Oh, God. Well, this is excellent. And I'm getting a beast in magic XP as well. Let's see. Yeah, man, I'm getting like 50 a shot. And only a few thousand left. So, you know, only a few hundred million shots left until I get to a high enough level to cast High Alk. Um, but then, at least it'll be a win. It'll be a massive win, actually. Like, humongous which is exactly what she said. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to stay here for very long because it kind of has to, I swear it kind of has to hit you first, like once, and they seem to keep hitting like constant 50s on me, so that won't be too peachy. Oh god, more coins. That's really upsetting. I just want a nice drop. I just wanted one nice drop. Come on. Please? Please, Mr. Ice Warrior, just give me a few runes. I need them. Oh, you stay away. Other Mr. Ice Warrior, you stay out of here. That's right. You best walk away. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am no good at this. I'm no good at luring people into a camping spot. Why? Why, Mr. Ice Warrior, why would you do this to me? I could really badly do with a cannon. Just right now, just place a cannon down. Stick some of the old cannonballs in there. Wow, a cannon would help super badly. Wow, well, yeah. That'd be awesome, actually, if I had a cannon. Hmm, maybe I should get a cannon. I'm way too poor. As soon as I get the money, I will definitely... Definitely be going for a cannon, though. Um... Because just think of how much faster this would be, you know, just place the cannon down, let the cannon wreak havoc while I hide in some corner. Win. I think that's always that my first splash, or I've, that's like my second or third splash. Just awesome. Oh my god, that's really, really unnecessarily high level. Let's see. 67. Wow. Excellent. Because I'm really going to need one of them anytime soon. Yay. Right, well, look. Maybe I should have brought more cooked chickens. I, I keep trying to think, like, how should I make money? Because I've only got a basic idea of how to make some money, and nothing that will make me anywhere near, like, 100k. Like, I'm talking more 20k. That's how much money I'm be making. Um, maybe a hundred k at best, you know. But if I do it for ages, uh, if anyone has got any ideas on how to make money, please leave a comment. Like, I am completely stumped, pretty much. Absolutely no idea how to make some more money. Got no, not not a jingle up in the mind. Um, all of the money making that I've ever done is from trade and even when there was no grand exchange I still used to make money from trade and not very much money but you know still m money from trading and um now especially after the grand exchange has come out I've lost my way of making money without trading I've got absolutely no idea whatsoever like not anything I honestly I don't even know like what could sell um, high Alkid is pretty much the only money making method that I can think of. Which would be good if I was high enough level to kill things which dropped good good items. But I'm not, so I can pretty much I think one K is gonna be like the most I'm gonna be able to high out, which is only then seven fifty profit ish. Um of course I'll be getting all the runes myself. Um, because if I was to buy them, that would just be a, a waste of money. Because I would lose money on most things. Um, hmm. I was just thinking, what is the magic level to make air battle staffs? Because they out for a, they out for a, quite a lot. Hmm. An iron battle axe and my first gold charm. 
I'm not sure if an iron battle axe will come in useful, but um, I suppose I could sell it at the shop. Right, yeah. Now, there is actually a very nice giant camping spot just over there, but the ice warriors can get into it because they're obviously only one wide. Um, I believe that there's there's probably somewhere with just ice giants um, or somewhere where you can camp the ice giants like maybe uh, in the wilder you may remember a few episodes ago while I was going to the mage arena bank um, uh, I walked past a load of ice giants and maybe you could shoot them through the fence or get them stuck on the gate or something but then I can't help but feel that the ice warriors would still walk through um, and just kill you kill you straight out in the face um, also I'm gonna go find out oh telekinetic grab you might be able to make money with that depending on what I can grab I could probably turn law runes into money um, law runes I should be getting from these but as of yet have got nothing useful apart from that one gold charm which is really really upsetting I was hoping you know floods and floods of cosmic runes and nature runes and lore runes and 17 rune crossbows too many crossbows that I knew what to do with yeah actually if I get more than one crossbow I should probably keep it but I won't I will I'll most likely high out it because they high out for about 10k if I can get the herb lore level to make anti-fires I can make a lot of money um, by way of killing iron dragons I can kill them with this spell oh, I think the level to make an anti-fire is really high though I don't think anything drops them so I'd have to really train herb lore oh, if I could go there I could get you know dragon legs dragon skirt Hunt nuts like 160k if I can out it. It's pretty much the, it, it's. I think it's just higher than the sale price, or just no about the same. So yeah, that could really, really make me some serious money, and then I get a visage in my dreams. Oh, Rana. What level? 25. I could Rana's are actually quite useful because I'm going to need prayer potions. Um, so every Rana that I get is a win every gold charm I get as a win because that makes me a little bit of money and it gets me summoning XP which is that's gonna really be the way I'd, I'd say that that's gonna be the most part of my money is from summoning and then alking the pouches that's gonna have to be the way that I make most of my money because nothing else that I can make in bulk is really alkable for anything apart from like bows that I could fletch but they they don't get worth until like you um, and at least maple I'd say maple is still only a bit above the medium but even the low level pouches like granite pouches granite crabs they out for more than the shard cost so as such I can make a profit on them and I can pretty much it would be it's about the same as selling the nature runes um, so I, I, I wouldn't be able to buy them and make a profit from the shop but I'd be able to you know high out the pouches and of course that gets rid of my junk pouches um, oh an uncut sapphire and a gold charm that was quite a good that was quite a good one let's chop this Let's see how much XP is it 50 wow so if I was to do five more of them and I've got like three in my bank um, I pretty much level up. Yeah, I do, but I think cutting diamonds, or no, actually cutting onyxes, but obviously that's too expensive. So cutting diamonds is the way that's not. Oh, they've stopped attacking me. Wow, that was really easy, actually. Like, seriously. Right, well, actually, it's a bit more of a pain now that they don't attack me. I have to kind of hit them and then lure them. Right, yeah, so um, I think cutting diamonds is like the best way to get crafting XP because they just cut, they cut so quickly um, and you get so much XP from them uh, but it's incredibly expensive, you lose tons of money cutting any gems but um, it's a really really good way 
to get craft and XP. If you've just got, you know, a bill cash line around, you'd be fine. No, if you've got if you've got a few hundred mil spare, you could probably get to 99. 